you're going to be some of the wealthiest people on the planet all because you bought a high profit margin company and supported it. The big bank accounts, the big hedge funds, the big banks try to put as much pressure on this thing to go out of business and all it took was a bunch of worker bees to come together and be like, listen, we're just going to go to the movies and buy some popcorn. That's it. The whole system's about to collapse because people are going to go and watch movies and, and eat popcorn and keep a movie theater company alive. They're exposed, guys. They're exposed and all this banking fraud and all these tokens and all the shit at FTX and all the shit at the banks and all the swaps, they're, they're not visible, right? They're not visible, tangible assets. Only real stocks are, right? And only brokerages and market makers and, and major banks have those stock certificates that they hold. We see rehypothecation, we see naked shorting, we see synthetics and IOUs and swaps and all these other things that Bigums talks about in his video, right? None of them are actual tangible assets. They're just simulation of an actual circumstance, right? It's like a it's like a market outside of a market. It's outside our actual market. What happens is when you get this dividend, if you get this money rolling in it, if you get yourselves out of debt and you can pay a dividend, it turns all of those intangible, unreal things, you know, the swaps, it turns the, the, the stokens, it turns them in to legitimate naked shorts and exposes the situation, right? You could call them IOUs or stokens or, or, or swaps or synthetics or whatever the hell you want. You could call them Mark Longs at your brokerage or at your bank. You know, oh, I marked them wrong, but I'm really taking the, the company short because I don't think it's a good investment right now. Well, guess what? You're marking the, the situation long on your balance sheet because you don't want the SEC to find out that you're taking people's buy orders and actually, and actually betting against your own clients. Eventually, they're going to be exposed and rather than have them be exposed by retail, you know, now all of a sudden we're inching closer to legislation that exposes it. And it's almost as if Gary Gensler and the SEC are going to come and be the heroes of the AMC movement. When in reality, the only way this stuff actually would have moved forward was if we were here pressuring them with our buying and holding of this stock and our constantly going to the movie theaters. As we move forward, as we get new revenue streams, this just compounds the problem for these hedge funds. Who wants to take out a swap on something that's profitable? Nobody. They don't do this just because, oh, you know what? We want to fix the system. No, the system needs to be fixed because we're the ones who are identifying that it's broken. And now that we've identified how broken it is and what exposes the system, we can duplicate this in any stock. I hope you guys know that. It doesn't matter that it's AMC. AMC just happens to be so easy to do this in because popcorn is cheap. Movie tickets are cheap. Soda's $8, it's really 30 cents. The markup on your company is massive at the box office. So this company gives you a distinct advantage to raise capital over every other company out there. This is what's fucking crazy. You, you own it. Own it. Own it.